right in the studio. This is the latest on my discast. I'm going to tell you about... So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. What's up, I'm JR. You're chilling all right. Let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm going to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. Um, the topic we're going to talk about today is struggles on being an entrepreneur and what that means. Um, why I talk about this topic, it talks about um, struggling to get sales, um, renting when you're not making enough sales, approaching your uh, competitors, you know, and things that, you know, competitors are doing that you don't like. So we're going to get into all those. Um, so right now, I wanted to say that um, you see right here, I'm wearing this white shirt with the same design that I made. You know, I updated my logo and stuff. Um, and, you know, it's a white shirt and it has black writing on it. The other two shirts that I showed you were black and red. So, um, yeah, I made a little few videos of me wearing them, including this one. So, um, it's on Facebook, but I think I'm not going to put it on YouTube. You just can find it on Facebook. But anyways, um, let's get to the topic. So, what I really want to talk about today is, um, what it's like to be an entrepreneur. But, um, when I was started being an entrepreneur back in 2015, I know I told you plenty of times already that, um, I became an entrepreneur after I got fired from so many different jobs. But, um, being an entrepreneur is not as easy as you think. Um, it's just as hard as fill out applications for a job. You know, you gotta approach your comparers, observe your comparators, see what they're doing, what they're selling, on how they market, how they gain customers and all that stuff. These are the things you gotta look out for. Um, you gotta observe other people just to be, be successful, but you don't have to plagiarize, you don't have to copyright, you don't have to copy their lifestyle. But um, whether you're a graphic designer, whether you're a food truck owner, whether you own a shop, whether you do clothing, whether you make t-shirts, um, whether you do uh, yard work, cutting trees, um, being a doctor, tax preparer, or hosting an event, you know, there's a lot of things that you have to look out for, as well as be, being loyal to customers, being good to your people, um, if the customers come back, which is a repeat, you got locals or favorites or whatever it's called, but, um, the thing that you need to be alert, uh, make sure that you don't take customers' money, because, in one group, black-owned businesses in Huntsville, Alabama, I witnessed so many people getting scammed by these local business owners or hairstylists. I forgot to say hairstylists. Whether you're a hairstylist or a lash technician, be sure, definitely be sure to take care of those people. But um, also, um, I'm going to tell you on the struggles on becoming a graph becoming an entrepreneur and um but right now i just want to get to the topics on uh, what you should do um when you uh deal with customers um when you're dealing with customers um be sure you have patience don't try to get into arguments or try to you know get into a bad situation but be professional as best as you can even though they're talking bad about you you know that is the main squeeze on being an entrepreneur people talk about about you even though you're doing good you're trying to be loyal you're trying to do the best you can that happened to me too but you know i know a lot of you business owners right there are doing in the same struggle as i am because of all these scammers that i just recently discovered two years ago that you know as the same thing as i am um i did a video two years ago back when uh all these fake graphic designers trying to take over your business. They comment under your post. You know, they talk, uh, say, uh, hey, you want a logo done? You need a flyer done? All this stuff, you know, you could be a client and, you know, you say no thank you. You talk, you told them that you're a graphic designer. Even though you're a graphic designer, uh, they still comment. They still don't understand. Uh, and then um, they just, you know, say a lot of derogatory comments, defending themselves, you know, getting upset that you're not doing business with them. Um, 
And sometimes even real ground resistance designers comment under your post and you tell them no thank you. You tell them that you're a graphic designer yourself and they always apologize or they just laugh it off, which is very stupid. But um, yeah, okay. So right now, um, let me tell you a story on when I first became an entrepreneur. When I first became an entrepreneur, um, I have to admit that um, sometimes I rant, sometimes I get upset because I wasn't making enough sales and I didn't have a job at the time. But now I do. I just, you know, have a, jo a job here and there, you know, temporary job just to get by a little bit. But most of the time I'll be working on graphic designs, but, you know, um, I don't want a real job because, you know, working a nine to five really, it's just, you know, not for me. But anyways, um, when I was working as an entrepreneur, I was getting upset that I wasn't making enough sales. Always thinking that, you know, other competitors like myself are still in business for me. I had that um, anxiety. You know, I had that paranoia right there. So, of course, I did not tell nobody, but I'm not telling anybody now. But I still had that paranoia. But I wasn't ranting as much as I did a few years back when I first became an entrepreneur. I was young. I was dumb. I got to admit, yeah, I was young. I was dumb. I'm older, I'm wiser, I'm speaking up about it. And I know some of you are in the same boat as I am. You want to give up, you know, you want to do all this stuff. But, you know, when I first started being an entrepreneur, I thought things were great. I was getting more customers back in 2016. I mean, to be honest, I was uh, getting a lot of customers, really. But sometimes when you needed the money, you know, you just rant, you just get upset, you yell, you scream, you know. And you ran on Facebook that you telling them that you don't support, they don't support you enough and all that stuff. Been on the same boat. I'm sure y'all did that too. But you know, when people start laughing at you and you took they they talk about you all the time, you know, they're jealous of something. They're just jealous, jealous of something. So, um, yeah, so when I get to that point, you know, about to give up, you know, I see a lot of people giving up as well, you know. Some people are just, you know, telling people, hey, you can't give up. You don't want to give up. Hey, I'm going to support you. So, you know, I put posted last week that, you know, even though I ain't got no sales, I'm still not giving up. And I just made a video posted on Facebook. I'm still not giving up. So, me right there, I mean, that tells me that I still need to keep going. So, um... Even though I have that paranoia, not ranting, and I don't post a lot of bull crap that I usually do, but you know, all a lot of times when you see me on Facebook, you see me as professional. You see me posting videos. You see me in this shirt. You might see me in red. You might see me in black. You might see me in tennis shoes. But you know, I have a lot of shoes. I got like I think twelve pairs of shoes right now. I'm sorry about the sorry, y'all. I live by the road, by the way, you know, a five-lane road, kind of, a lot of traffic, you know. And anyway, um, so, got a lot of pairs of shoes. I think I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I got ten pairs of shoes, but, um, like, I got uh, six felines and three Levi's. So, I'm not going to show you it on YouTube, but I might show on YouTube one day, but... I totally love feelings and Levi's, but, um, yeah, well, why, where was I? Okay, so, um, well, I was saying that, you know, you, as a professional, um, if you really want customers, um, some, I hate to say myself, people, but I hate to say it to myself, too, but, you know, you can't rant, you can't do, scream, you can't give up, you know, you can't say all these cuss words, you can't cry about it because just because you ain't getting enough sales or have no sales at all you just have to suck it up try again see where you went wrong as far as advertisement and you know just amp up your advertisements a little bit just amp up your marketing a little bit do a little video um uh, make a tiktok make an instagram post on instagram post on you know a lot of ads you know pass out business cards and all that stuff that helps too but you know and word of mouth helps too, you know. Sometimes you just gotta get out there and still be on Facebook all day. So that's one of the tips that you know uh can help you boost up your business, you know, 
you know, word of mouth is great, talking to people, great customer skills, you know, and sometimes I haven't done that yet, to be honest with you, that just popped up to, uh, to my head, so, um, you can just do emails also, you can email people on specials you're doing, you know, that stuff, just write down, just get a new book, write down the list of email address that you've done business with, uh, write them all down, Put an ad, you know, type up what you want to type as far as your business. You want to promote, what type of sale you got going on, all that other stuff, what type of promotion, if you're hiring all that stuff, or you're having a great sale, or just anything, you know, just type it out, send it to the people that you've done business with, and boom. People might be interested, people might not. Who knows? So, um, I still have yet to try that out. So, um all right so i hope that all the um uh, advice that i've given you is helping you so far and you know it's just me i wanted to talk about it in my newscast because it just recently popped into my head i've been thinking about it for a while where i should say it on camera say on youtube or not because it's heavily on my mind and i think i finally am glad i'm finally happy that i'm opening up to you guys on what it's like for me to be an entrepreneur for the first three years. Um, I still haven't gotten a lot of sales like I wanted to. In fact, I still get a fewer sales here and there because, you know, I've been working. That might be the cause of it. And, you know, as much posts as I'm posting right now, um, and also in specific groups that you can't post your posts at all. Um, you have to be careful about that or they might report you and put you in Facebook jail also. So, um, yeah, so um, that's what I want to talk about also right there. And you just have to be careful once you're an entrepreneur. You can't badmouth nobody. You can't, you know, if you might badmouth when you get across some particular person you don't like and they cuss at you first not none business wise anyway but um yeah so you always have to be professional when you're in business you know just be careful um don't take anybody's money you know just be careful who you're doing business with you know it may be the customer it may be the business you know who knows i just talked about that um uh, a few newscasts back last season so yeah so um as i you know grow older and wiser and you know not getting sales at all which is fine with me because you know i have backup right here to get by so i can just wait i can just wait till i get another sale no problem so um yeah so now that i am finished talking about it, um and also haven't done cartoon portraits in a while i did typography i did photo manipulation i think i should go back to those just to boost up my sales a little bit maybe that'll help who knows maybe it will maybe it not but i did have fun doing photo manipulation the most and i plan to do that again real soon um and also illustration typography you know that's where it's at right there i think i'm gonna do that sometime in the future maybe next week maybe next two weeks or maybe even this weekend so who knows about that maybe it'll get get some sales some but i did have fun doing that as well so not giving up guys you know i'm back you know it's season two i mean not season two season 11 season 11 of course you know like it says right here 2011 plus 11 years season 11 22 2022 yeah so um like I said, guys, if you're struggling, not getting any sales, just don't give up. Don't rant out, you know. Um, yeah, so just, you know, relax your mind a little bit. You know, take it one day at a time, all right? So I hope you enjoyed this newscast. And I'm going to see you in another time for another newscast. And I hope you enjoy this one. And I'll see you real soon. So once again, I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I'm out. Peace.